Ah, fresh air. Guess this will be a picture of an ex. Good guess. Shiva. Right. Let's turn the water on. Well, well. What's to say it's not different this time? What if it's fire or something? You're messing with me. I'm totally messing with you. <laughs> Here we go. Mm hmm? I'm a little disappointed it wasn't fire. Another waterfall. Yeah. Two out of three now. Plus, and I went to an absurd amount of trouble to hide the tusk. Well, the tusk was the symbol of Hoysala dominance, representing their wealth and their might. A nice trophy for the Persians. Yeah. My dad always thought that the tusk was something even greater, though. What? Your dad was after the tusk? Oh, my dad was obsessed with it. He spent every day and night researching it. All our money wasted on fruitless expeditions. Heard that one before. Ugh. So what came of it? I don't know. Well, he sent me and my mum away. He said it was no longer safe. And off to Australia we went. <laughs> and now here I stand on the outskirts of Halibadoo. That's pretty funny. And the last fort's nestled above the falls, the one with the trident. Australia. Your accent makes sense now. Yeah. Fraser's not exactly an Indian surname either. It was my mum's. Let's head back to the car. I love a shortcut. Glad we don't have to go back the way we came. I would have made you dodge the axes. Oh God, Fraser!
just the one by the falls left. Sounds like a plan. <sighs> Makes more sense why I solves after the task now. Figured he just wanted the money, like us. He'll use it to rally. Wave it in the government's face. Just like all the other times. This has happened before? Oh yeah. Ever since the young king lost to the Persians, everyone's wanted to lay claim to it, to this man. Here our pocket is just going on a treasure hunt. We are. Let men like the Tsar fight over it. It's none of our concern. Fighting wars was my concern for a time. Good point. But you did it for the cash. Usually. What about when you worked for a Tsar? <laughs> Definitely a cash grip. Hardly worth the trouble. Ouch. Why do it then? Needed to establish my rep, eh? Figured I'd stop and go to the bunch. Nowhere to go but up after that. Beautiful out here. Is this your first visit to India? Yeah. Not a lot of folks in this line of work, but travel is definitely one of them. Where have you been? Oh, where haven't I been? Whichever question works for you. Well, I haven't been to the States. Really? Yeah, well, the stuff I'm looking for is usually old, right? The US has only found it a couple of hundred years ago. True. What about you? Where do you want to go? Iceland. Nice choice. Beautiful there. Well, it's quiet. I'm spoiled. And I want to see those northern lights. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's on the bucket list, too. You should go when we're done here. Someday. Have other things to attend to first. It's Ganesh's trident. Ganesh, remover of obstacles. I'm 
Sāc kliet. Okay, that's not it. No, this. What's the trick here? What? Look like a button. Yeah, I just wanted you to have a go at something. What's this? That's a good sound. One of the spokes on the wheel just turned around. Huh. The locks are retracting when I turn the wheels. So then there's probably five in total. Four to go then. That's two. Hey, here's another. I'll get it. One left. Last but not least. That should do it. Okay. Back to the big wheel thing. Big wheel thing? Whatever the archaeological term for it is. Big wheel thing works. Looks like we're going under. Radio. There's off, wasn't it? One trident coming up. Oh, 
Oh, what the hell? That's not fair! Sir? Come on, let's get the server and done with. Yep. Oh, shit! See? I told you it was dangerous. You hurt. Just my dignity. Here we go. There'd be water. Now that's three. You know, you're pretty good at this whole treasure hunting thing. I'm a quick study. Mm. One question, though. I reckon that you could pretty much do anything you want. Why are you so keen to get Shoreline back? Seriously? My partner turns my own men against me. My lieutenant makes off with a bounty. Nathan and Samuel Drake get off scot-free and are asking why I want Shoreline back. Yeah. What's on my watch? I lost it on my watch. What the hell is that thing you keep playing with? It's my stress toy. It showed up in the mail a few weeks after we got to Australia. All right, we better get a move on. We don't want a salve to get ahead of us. You know, I've had my fair share of screw-ups. <laughs> you just pick yourself up and move on. I don't like to fail. No one does, no. Last one back to the car buys dinner. A porte Maurice. You're no fun.
right. We're clear. For real this time. You have your yourself on. All things considered. What things are those? No real combat training. Oh. Slightly impulsive. Run around the field like a maniac. Need to learn what short control first means. All right. I'm lost. Wearing red in a jungle combat scenario. I mean, seriously. working with a woman for a change. <laughs> Too rot. Not many of us out here. This one arms dealer demanded to speak to the man in charge, then tried backing out when I informed him I was running the show. Uh, what did you do? Broke, broke his legs. <laughs> You're not kidding. Just trying to level the playing field. Oh, don't cross Ross. <laughs> I should put that one on my business card. Can't you just walk away? Be done with Shoreline. I was born in Toots. I don't have a choice. Oh, there's always a choice.